Okay guys, well I want to make a quick video on showing off my one of my three laser squares. This is the current one I'm using, so uh, it's the Pioneer uh, CLD D503. Uh, it's a pretty nice player. Um, had it for about two weeks now, been very very happy with it. Um, and that's uh, a very nice player. So I power it on. And uh, we can open it up. I do have uh, Rob Roy in there. So that's the, uh, the laser disc that is currently in the player. This player also plays CDs as well, like most, I'm pretty sure almost all laser players did. Uh, I do have a laser player that does play DVDs as well. Uh, so let's just hit play. So, pretty cool. How loud is the uh, volume? Let me just make sure it's not too loud. Okay, it's not that loud. Uh, one of the things I did get for this laser display, which I just bought in general for uh, my analog electronics, is I actually did pick up this recently. Let's see if I can find it. I picked up this. This is a digital to analog... Oh, not the, that, sorry. <laughs> this! <laughs> that was my HDMI spl uh, splitter. I bought this recently. This is a um, analog to digital converter, which basically takes old analog pictures and converts them to 720 or 1080p. So I'll go from analog to HDMI. I absolutely love this. It it makes your older uh, analog content look so much better on your HDTV. I'm very happy with it. Um, it makes, I've watched a few laser discs already, and already the picture quality has definitely improved. I'm going to mute this. But, uh, of course, uh, Dolby Surround AC3 Digital. Uh, I believe this, I don't know if it's this player or the other player. Uh, I know this one has coax out, but I think this also might have optical audio out as well. Um, I'm very happy with this player. This is the remote. This is nice. Both my, I got two new laser disc players recently. This is one of the things that's awesome. I finally have a remote. My uh, original um, laser disc player actually was missing its remote. So not only is it awesome to have a laser disc player with a working remote, but that's one thing. But also another thing that's really nice is that both laser disc players I recently picked up. Oh, by the way, this is in film mode, which is nice because it actually turns off this. I like to keep that off, especially at night. So uh, if I want to see the yeah, display, I just hit display on the thing. It'll bring it up on the TV and also bring it up for a short period of time on the, uh, the player there. But um, this is a Liam Nielsen film. Uh, the other cool part is both laser players I picked up recently are um, they switch sides for you. They're automatically switch sides for you. Where the other my my uh, first laser player I have, you actually had to get up and flip the disc yourself. Let me uh, fast forward here. There you go. So, pretty cool. Um, one negative, I guess, with this analog to digital converter, and a lot of people were complaining about it, is it does force your picture to be 16 by 9. Uh, well, actually, not quite 16 by 9, but it does force it to stretch to go from 4 by 3. Well, it goes from 4 by 3 to 16 by 9 picture, quality, uh, picture aspect ratio. So that's why it goes completely all over the screen, which. I don't think it looks that bad. Of course, my TV is only 32 inch, so um, for me, it probably isn't that big of a deal. But for people who have bigger TVs, stretching an analog image to 16 by 9, it might distort the picture a lot more than what it is for my player. For me, it's pretty clear. I mean, if you stand, because I usually look, you know, this far away, and it looks pretty good. So, but uh, overall, the up convert is very nicely done. It doesn't tr try to make it look better. It just makes it look more natural on HDTV. Um, one particular thing uh, with my TV, for some reason, it seems to when it comes to when it comes to analog signals, they can be a bit catchy on this TV. This is why I mostly bought the converter. Was so for some reason when I watch something that's analog, all of a sudden it would like lose its signal. Like this TV for some reason hates analog signals, so that's why I bought the digital converter, so it will sense a digital 
input and it'll stay there so but uh, overall very very nice picture uh, very happy with the converter and it just makes me watching my old analog formats not just the old analog formats but also for retro video game consoles when I play them on my HDTV, they will look nice. They will look proper. And it'll just be a lot better. Because the analog um, inputs on the, on the new modern HDTVs, they're cheap. They're not well built. They're Basically, when you buy an HDTV, they don't really think that you'll probably use the analog uh, inputs that much. You'll probably end up using it for your Xbox or your PS3 or your Blu-ray player or your Xbox, 4, uh, Xbox One or PS4. Uh, you'll be putting all your content through HDMI, you won't be uh, doing analog anymore. So that's why they, they do still offer you the analog inputs, but most likely that you'll use them, most people don't these days. So that's why it's kind of nice to buy an analog converter, analog digital converter, because those um, converters are much well, well built than the ones that are inside your TV. So overall, very, very happy. I enjoyed this laser disc player. I also watched recently, uh, I watched um, Michael Collins, another Liam Nielsen film I have not seen yet. I haven't seen this one yet either. I uh, will we'll be watching this one soon. It's soon done with my Godzilla marathon that I've been doing. Um, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Let me just hit stop. So, but overall, very nice slice display. Let me turn off the uh, film display. There you go. It's actually interesting when you when you hit the film display on it actually causes my screen to go black. That's very interesting. Ooh, you can see the uh the different uh, uh shutter movements from my uh phone showing up on the camera screen on the uh TV screen. Pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so the the uh, refresh rate, I should say. Um overall, very, very happy with this laser player. Like I said, it is the Pioneer C L D uh D five oh three. And uh, come with the original remote. It actually came with the original box, the original manual, everything, along with the other laser disc player, which I'm sad to say I don't remember what it is offhand. And I don't remember the, the name of my first laser disc player, also, but it was a cheap player. I still have that one as well. It's, they're both in storage. The other two laser disc players are in storage right now. But uh, this one I'm mostly using at the time period at this time. So, um, but yeah, if you have any old analog formats, uh, and if you have an HD TV, I'd highly recommend picking one of these up. So, definitely highly recommend picking one of these up, especially if you're also a retro video game player. Uh, the nice part is also this came with uh, this has a um, S video input as well, which was nice for me because this TV actually didn't even have an S video input in the back. So um, this only did composite and component. So the component works pretty good though on this TV, I should say. That's pretty good. So if I hook up my PS2 through component or something, that actually looks pretty good. But uh, when it comes to composite, it can be very, very catchy on this TV. So, alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And uh, see you guys later. Bye.